We could say that we have uh, what Ernest Holmes calls in the textbook a mental equivalent for the life we have. You know, it's what we deeply believe we can have, and it's what we deeply believe we deserve, and it's what we deeply believe is available to us. So what we believe we can have, what we believe we deserve, and what we believe is available to us. Now, Ernest Holmes says this elsewhere also. He says that every soul comes into life. Everyone comes to earth. Everyone has a gift to give, a lesson to learn, and a debt to pay. I think that's so interesting because that kind of covers all of it, doesn't it? You know, um, that I think uh, all we experience, uh, you know, is um, to remember and reawaken the memory of that contract within us uh, and to prepare us to fulfill it, right? So it seems to me that uh, divine ideas, hunches, inklings, ahas, revelations, whatever we might call them, come, and they're unfamiliar to us. And what happens is we push them away. We say, no, nope, not here, not now. This is not for me. But in the Science of Mind teaching, we teach that we live in God, and God lives uniquely by means of each and every one of us. God expresses through each and every one of us.